Hi, today we're going to have a look around this Mark 1 Sunseeker Predator 57 hardtop sports boat. My name's James Lumley and we're here in Swadet Marina, home of Sunseeker Southampton. Just going to talk you through some features of this boat and why she's a great option on the used market. So delivered by us in spring 2016, she's one owner from new, always kept here on the UK south coast. So no exposure to the UV sunlight typically associated with boats kept in the med. She's a very, very high spec boat. One of the highest spec Predator 57s we've ever built. With the largest shaft drive engine option, twin 900 horsepower Volvo D13s. And the Sleipner Vector fin stabilisation system, amongst many other options. So really nothing missing on this boat at all. She's pretty much full med spec. You can see here on the exterior with these full length glass windows running down the hull. It's a very aggressive design. Timeless looks. Very, um, very pretty boat. Real statement as you walk down the pontoon here, seeing her for the first time. It's a white hull with a black gel coat boot top stripe along the waterline there. Uh, the name will go with the boat. Whether you choose to change it afterwards is up to you, but it is a LED backlit design there. So her name is Eva and the tender is named Patsy. And looking around you can see she's in great shape. Full professional captain maintained from new. The owner's one of several boats here, so very much cherished. We had a lot of fun building her. So very, very high spec. Uh, there were various colour options available on the roof for 57 Predators. This only went for the silver painted structure there. And you can see she's got four satellite TV systems that are just dummy domes. The one dome houses the sat system, the other one's tidying up the TV aerial, etc. Painted black, along with the radar chair in the middle there. Stepping on board, vastly expensive amazing to look at carbon fiber flagstaff here midship covers are in good condition she has optional teak so the bathing platform and cockpit were standard on this model but to take it up forward on the side decks and on the bow was a factory extra see the access on the deck here is very easy no need to use the handrails when walking around up forward we've got these handy rope storage lockers. Both sides on the deck. And then on the center center line here there's a with lift up backrests. So whether in the UK or MED, it's a great social area to sit. You've got carbon fiber cup holders there either side of the sun pad and these nice teak steps make access on and off very straightforward. Looking up top you'll see three big glass skylight panels in the roof so it's a GLP structure, very solid, but still lets the natural light in to the deck saloon downstairs and you'll see up top there she had the optional remote control spotlight and there's also a full Garmin premium nav package which includes the open array radar you can see up top and some kit inside that I'll talk you through shortly. Uh, there's an upgrade on the anchor chain so she goes up to 90 meters of galvanized chain and a beautiful stainless steel anchor to finish it off. There's chafing bars on the cleats here for your med lines. Okay, the teak's all in great shape, hasn't been scrubbed to death. have to excuse the wind, it's a, not such a nice day here in Swanwick today. Um, I won't open the garage up to show you, but there is a Williams 325 jet tender, which is by separate negotiation, housed on the port side there, that lifts up as a hydraulic system, and then standard on a 57. There's a crew cabin here on the, 
from starboard side. So there's a single bed. The mattress is actually downstairs in the cabin as they only use this as storage. But there's a bed tucked under the garage floor. So handy practical wet room flooring here. And hidden in the box there, there's a, there's a toilet and a pull out sink in the wall. So it's actually quite a usable single bed cabin if you've got an extra child or friend on board or say if you if you feel the need for a captain you have got enough space to make it practical if you're going away for a, for a couple of weeks everything shuts with a nice clunk so go back up and head into the cockpit see what she offers inside So if we start here on the starboard side, it's a full wet bar, lifting the lid we've got the Kenyan electric griddle, stainless sink and then down below there's an ice maker and a little drinks fridge. In the aft end been in there so it's well thought out very usable controls here for the griddle and ice maker handy storage locker controls for the LED lighting and I can't get it out today due to the weather but if you look in the aft end of the roof structure here here's a carbon fiber panel uh, which comes out to give you a full sunshade. So this will actually cover the whole aft sun pad for those days where there's just a little too much sun. There's a couple of support holes that go in to keep it rigid so you can run with it up. Uh, it's a great looking feature obviously with that piece of carbon fiber on the back of it. Looking at the upholstery, this was an upgrade. So it's got a, a diamante finish here. It's a vinyl, like a champagne color vinyl so very practical easy to wipe down and as you can see presents almost like a new boat very very clean uniform color we've got this great size teak double leaf table with a huge stainless steel leg really feels a nice luxury piece of almost furniture there uh, looking at the teak a great shape no sign of any jet washing or anything here. And then unique when we first launched this was this drop down door and window system. So there's a sliding patio door that comes across there to close off to the starboard side. And then when it's in the open position, and we just need to check it's fully back with the push of a switch, we can convert our deck saloon boat into an open cockpit boat. To excuse the VHF, but you can see now we've gone from an enclosed deck saloon to a panoramic open deck with everything almost straight flat floor throughout just the threshold there on the door so all of a sudden we've got entertaining space for many guests and if you're using the boat in warmer climates you can get the through flow without running the air conditioning or if you're in the northern European markets like we are here in Swanwick and the weather's not so good like today push that button shut the door and you've got the ability to put your heating system on and turn this area into a very homely place to be so you'll see immediately here the wood is the black American walnut option with a gloss finish so it's a high gloss lacquer that we apply in-house at Sunseeker in Pool. quality is fantastic really is mirror finish not having been sat in the med say the UV exposure on any of this is absolutely minimal great size there if you Choose to dine inside at night. And it's a sort of white, white leather sofa here. 
again looking around very very little wear hardly know the boat's been used at all she's reading just uh, around the 100 hour mark which is very very little for a boat like this and hence why everything is so impressively well kept uh, just going back into the cockpit here we've got a, a performance AV system throughout so there's some upgraded speakers here on the port and starboard and that feature runs throughout the boat so she's got the best really the best of everything we have a look over on the starboard side here there's a high low telly that's built into the sideboard there just demonstrate that for you so it's a 40 if it's a 40 or 42 inch Samsung LED TV so it's linked to a Sky um, HD box here in the saloon if you're going to other parts of the world you might need to change the receiver box but the um, KVH system for the satellite itself is easy to reprogram to suit So when it's um, when it's not needed, it handily stores away there on that high-low system. We've got a granite finish here on the top, which we ran all the way throughout the sideboard. So that was an upgrade. And there's a drinks drinks cooler here, a bit more storage. And just looking in this cupboard while we're talking about AV, so you'll see the skybox, the Harman Kardon system for the surround sound. And then over there is a PepWave router, so that will take two SIM cards, it will pick the highest signal strength and give you onboard Wi-Fi um, and also run your Apple TV, etc. So very little, um, very little missing on the options list there. Looking up at the helm, so we've got a helm and co-pilot seat with this sort of Bentley-esque diamond stitched leather, very high quality. They've got lift up bolster. So if you prefer to drive the boat standing up, cushion folds out of the way and there's this optional drop down teak step so that when the roof is open it just gives you a little bit more head height to look over the top of the frame. So your visibility actually for a Predator style hard top sports boat is pretty good all round. We've got these glass panoramic windows that run down both sides of the boat and there's a, it's got a blind on it at the moment but there's windows down the bottom as well. And if you sit at the helm, I'll just talk you through the nav kit. So, great um, feature on the steering wheel here with a weighted Sunseeker logo. It's an adjustable tilt steering wheel so you can get into a nice comfy position. But the visibility is great. We've got this opening side window which allows me to put my head out if I was coming alongside. And everything falls to hand. So my throttles here on the starboard side is one finger fly-by wire throttle and gear controls and then behind it the optional Zenter joystick so this takes the functionality of your thrusters and engines and gearboxes into one control so throttles back into neutral activate the joystick and then we have the option to twist, the, uh, twist the top here to go around in a circle push it sideways and it engages both engines to allow sideways movement so docking on this boat is very straightforward especially if you're running short-handed and looking forward we've got high-end LED push button switches there's proportional bow and stern thruster controls there with a hold function so you can lock them say at 30% running and hold the boat on the dock whilst you get off to do your lines uh, Sunseekers in-house CM8 system see the boat's giving us a warning for low water as she's winterized at the moment this gives you control to run the generator it gives tank readouts and warnings and that sort of thing and as part of the Garmin Premium Package, we've actually done away with all the typical gauges. Special calling, go over to watch on channel 16. And we've got two massive 19-inch Garmin displays. So they take the functionality from the engine displays up onto the plotters. So we, as we're set up at the moment here, of course they show a multitude of different things. Depending on what... Um, what you wish to show so we've got a chart set up here one side at the moment and then we've got the options here you'll see for gauges sonar camera systems and what have you depending on 
what it is you need to know. There's air conditioning plumbed into the dash, which is great when you're running in warmer climates. So autopilot control, remote control spotlight, saying it's all very much to hand. And even space for a paper chart for those of you still wanting to keep tabs on where you are the old-fashioned way. So that's the deck saloon. Uh, worth pointing out, she's also got the wood floor here. Standard was a carpet, so it just makes it very practical for walking in and out with whether you're in bare feet, coming in from the sea, or wearing your shoes on board. Less chance of damage. Uh, galleys obviously wooden floored as well and then for the accommodation areas we've got carpets throughout so there was an upgrade to a granite here so it's hard to see on the camera but it's a really nice fleck in this black granite an upgrade to a smeg uh, it's a microwave oven and then a four burner electric ceramic hob there's an extractor fan above and if we have just have a look around some of these lockers you can see loads of storage and as with all sun seekers you've got a full set of Royal Dalton crockery uh, there's Darlington crystal glasses and there's also um, there's also a cutlery set as well so a big single stainless steel sink here Again, lots of storage and on the forward bulkhead here is a dishwasher to make life on board a little easier and a great size fridge so looking across opposite we've got a lower dinette nice place to have a coffee in the morning again with a uh, 22 inch samsung led tv Got storage up in the top there, and again, speakers for the AV. Uh, looking forward, so this is a this is a VIP guest cabin. So centerline double bed, big skylight above, emergency hatch, and again you've got high level storage either side. AV system with a TV and speakers up in the roof. air conditioning controls down by the side of the bed there she's on UK three pin electric sockets very straightforward to switch out to European two pin if you're going south good size wardrobe full length hanging for the ladies and again more storage this side the bathroom's Jack and Jill so there's actually two doors here to allow either access here from the guest cabin direct or it doubles up as a day head and it heads for the third cabin as well so storage beneath the sink good size sink separate shower stall with a sliding door and you'll see a rain shower there up in the roof which was uh, extra on a lot of other boats but standard with a sun seeker and a Dometic electric toilet uh, this particular boat actually is we plumbed in, she's got a diesel heating system as well as the European reverse cycle aircon. Just makes you a little bit more usable in northern European waters. Um, don't have to wait for the aircon system to get up to temperature. The heating is very efficient. The vents are at the low level. So it can get the boat up to um, a nice warm toasty temperature if you're using it throughout the year. Uh, you have to excuse the mattress in here. It's out of the crew cabin just to, so it's been stored in the owner's garage It's never been used and um, so the third cabin is Single bunk beds of which we have two so accommodation on the boat for six plus the crew and there's a good size wardrobe and again a, a TV so it's specced with the same gear throughout And then down into the most important cabin on the boat, which is your centerline full width master stateroom. So a huge centerline double bed uh, with the Sleipner Vector fins 
we switch from the two seats and the table that you might see in some other boats to this sofa um, as the power pack for hydraulics etc under the floor here so a sofa on the starboard side here is storage either side of the bed and then over on the port we've got a handy sideboard unit these great huge glass windows so lots of natural light into here even on a grey overcast daylight today it's a very bright and airy feeling place to be um, lovely feature stainless steel opening port lights and on the forward bulkhead you'll see there a large Samsung TV which is linked into a, a DVD and AV system show you up here the electrics so we've got main switches for the domestic systems on the boat and then Sunsea can you say this is a secondary panel for the one we saw on the dash it shows us things like voltages water pumps and that sort of thing it's a it's a great system we run on most of the yachts these days um, and it just gives you warnings before anything becomes an issue. So I'll just have a look through my, my spec sheet here to check I haven't missed anything. Um, there's additional cleats on the bathing platform when you've got your tender out somewhere to tie up. Uh, there's a camera monitoring system which has an infrared camera on the aft end of the the boat down uh, across the bathing platform also two cameras in the engine bay so for long distance running uh, just peace of mind not having to put the floor up and check in there from time to time uh, the Ebus backer system says six outlet diesel power systems separate to the um, air conditioning The TV system uh, for those interested, so the, it's a KVH TV6, so that's a 60 centimetre dome, so it'll work down into the northern part of um, European waters, say south of France, uh, if you want to pick satellite up down there. It's a Miele dishwasher, and the generator's been upgraded to 13 kilowatts. Just to talk a little bit more about the stabilisation system on board, so it's a slight Navec to fin stabiliser, so that's twin fins. Uh, one either side of the boat there are 55 centimeter curved fin and that reduces the roll by about 60 percent both at anchor and also whilst underway which is different to how a gyro system works and it really does match the hull very well so it reduces the roll enough that most people then don't suffer the the after effects of seasickness at all uh, it's great when you're running underway, sort of an on aft three quarter sea, and the boat's sort of lolling around. You can dial all of that out. It's a very flat running boat with fin system. And the benefit, I suppose, more than anything with a gyro is it's immediate startup. Push the button, and the algorithms in the computer mean that it's up and running within seconds rather than that sort of 30 minute warm up that's suffered by the gyro systems. With the added benefit that it then works underway and also at anchor. It's a great feature, it was around £75,000 as an option on a boat this size. So many of the uh, many of the other models out in the market don't have this system. Uh, it's a very expensive option against the overall price of the boat, but it's a lovely addition to have and it really does make usability of the boat all year round that much more enjoyable. So say a one owner boat, captain maintained from new, there's a full service history to go with her. Owner's now not planning to use her again until she's sold, so we really would encourage a viewing. Say so she's currently afloat here at Swanet Marina on the south coast of the UK on the Hamble River. It's the home of Sunseeker Southampton. We can accommodate viewing seven days a week. Ideally with a little bit of prior notice just so we can set the boat up for you with the covers, uh, covers off, the cushions out etc. But if you happen to be passing please just call in and, and we'll do something for you immediately. So the office is open seven days a week. Uh, my name's James Lumley and if you need any further information on this particular boat or anything else that we, we have for sale at the moment, the website 
is sunseekersouthampton.com and there's a used boat section on there where you'll find the full details saying the vessel name is Eva. Uh, my email is james at sunseekersouthampton.com or you give me a call on the mobile anytime which is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven she's currently on the market at nine hundred and ninety five thousand pounds tax paid a replacement model which is the predator 60 launched the end of 2019 would now be around 1.6 million pounds so she represents a great saving on the cost of a new build and as we just discussed going through the spec really there's very very little missing uh, in terms of moving to the med the only option that you might want to consider is a passerelle which we already have a quote on file from the local dealer to retrofit if needed apart from that absolutely loaded saying pretty much the highest spec boat to date that we've built this model we look forward to hearing from you